Now in this video, I quickly want to discuss the properties and equations of vertical and horizontal lines. And I'm talking all vertical and all horizontal lines here. And let's start with the equations. So if I've got this green horizontal line here, and I want to describe all the values that lie on this green line. If we think about it for a moment, if our x value changes, doesn't matter what my x coordinate is, my y value coordinate is always the same. So when x is zero, my y value coordinate is six. When x is one, my y value coordinate is six. If my x is five, my y value coordinate is still six. So to be able to describe this linear line, what we say is our y value is always equal to six. And that describes every single value of x. Now, if I consider the slope of this, our slope is our rise divided by our run. Now, this line here doesn't ever rise. It doesn't ever go up, nor does it go down. So its rise is always zero. Our run, however, is infinite. So our run can be any large and value. So when we do our rise divided by our run, it's always going to be zero divided by a number, which zero divided by a number is always equal to zero. So one key property of all horizontal lines is that its slope is always equal to zero. So what about vertical lines? Well, if we consider this vertical line that we've got here in blue, we consider it sort of in the same way, but in reverse. Doesn't matter what my y value here is, my x value is always going to be 3. So when my y value was 0, my x value was clearly 3. When my y value was negative 1, my x value is still 3. When my y value is 5, my x value is still 3. So it doesn't matter on this horizontal line what my y value is, my x is always equal to 3. So we say that the equation here is my x is always equal to 3. And that describes every coordinate that exists on this vertical line. So what about the slope of a vertical line? Well, the slope of a vertical line can be thought of by the rise divided by the run. Now, our rise here is essentially infinite. It's just infinitely going up or down. However, our run, well, it never moves left or right. So our run is actually zero. So when we do our slope, our rise divided by our run, we're dividing by zero. And you can't divide by zero in maths. So our run doesn't actually have our value. So we consider the slope of all vertical lines to be undefined. So in summary, all horizontal lines can be represented by a simple equation of y equals a value. And that value represents whatever the y coordinate always is along that line. It's also the y intercept. Our slope of any horizontal line is always going to be zero. It's not rising or falling at all. So the slope of all horizontal lines is always equal to zero. For vertical lines, we represent those equations with x equals a value. And that value is what the x coordinate is the whole way along that line. It's also the x intercept of that line. And when it comes to the slope of vertical lines, you're actually ending up dividing by zero and you can't divide by zero. So we say that the slope of all vertical lines is undefined. 